Hello there everyone, you've tuned in UXW Bill and you've actually caught me in the midst of taking apart what was once a nice APC rack mounted battery pack assembly for use with one of their extended runtime rack mount UPS units. As you can see, somebody let these go way, way, way too far. Check out how squiggly and melted these things are. Oh! And can I interest you in a nice rain stick? A sealed lead acid rain stick? Probably just the thing for kids at Christmas time this year. Because you know that comes earlier every year. <laughs> Those batteries exerted so much force and maybe even enough heat, I certainly wouldn't put it past them to deform the tray in which they were sitting. Now this tray of batteries, I was able to get this out because when I pulled on the handle, they came out just far enough and after bending this metal assembly here up, I was able to use this hammer and kind of coax them out by using it as a lever. And the further and further I got, the easier it became until eventually I was down to just the two remaining batteries. And those took a little more convincing, but I was finally able to do it just with a great deal of perseverance. But why, oh why do people let these things go for so long? And more importantly than that, what am I going to do about this second row of batteries in here? I can't get them to come out at all. So I'm going to try bending this metal assembly here up, just like I did over on the other side. See if I can bend that up and if it'll give me enough of a starting point, a beachhead from which to launch the invasion. Now if I had any kind of a tripod for an iPhone or anything like that, I'd let you watch as well, but I don't think I'm going to be able to continue with this recording because I pretty much need all the strength that I've got to do this. Oh yeah, those are definitely not coming out. I just don't know. There's no way I can really get in the back there with my with the claw of my hammer and use it as a lever and the casing as a fulcrum. It'll tear things up on that side even more than it already did on this one. Wow, I'm surprised there's not more fallout from those batteries, some of which had casings that were split open in the bottom of this battery tray. These are the ones that were in the UPS and you can see they're doing real well. At least they came out though, they're not quite as squiggly and melted as the other ones. So let me figure out what I'm going to do about this, and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I think i figured out what I'm going to do here. I can still apply a lever, I just need to put it in a slightly different location. So let's see if this will actually work. Well, I got them started, that's for sure. Whether or not I can actually get them out of there remains to be seen. And since it would be worthwhile to restuff this with brand new batteries and put it back into service since it's otherwise unharmed, I would like to do so in some way or another. But boy howdy, are those ever in there good. Alright, I think they've moved just enough that I might be able to engage another form of lever here. I'm pretty sure these are Furhead's channel locks, and if he actually watches this video, no doubt I'm going to be in huge trouble for having misused them like this. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead and see if I can stick them in here. Oh, try to open the jaws on them, but I don't think I've got enough clearance to do that yet. I'll just have to try and keep making room here. There we go. Oh. Yeah, we'll just keep going. It's... It's slow going, but at least they are going up to a point. You can see that I'm trying to suck a hay bale through a drinking straw here. <laughs> it's just not working very well. And a person could take this all apart if they wanted to spend a lot of quality time with a rivet gun to put it all back together again. I don't know about you, but I'd just as soon not do that. So let me see if I can continue fighting the good fight here. We'll get a, a bigger tool. And we'll just see whether or not, and you can see it's definitely taking a beating back there. Let's see. Well, I got one battery out, three more to go. And at this point, I think it's more or less time to employ the time tested, guaranteed to work method known as violence, which is to say we're just going to hit these. 
I can't recommend that anybody ever do this or even think about doing this because it's probably dangerous, especially with the battery casing already having been broke open, broken open like that. But hey, UXW Bill is a professional bad example operating on a closed course. Don't try the things that he does at home, work, at a friend's house, an enemy's house, or anywhere else for that matter. Oh yeah, you can tell these batteries were in really good shape, just tip-top condition. <laughs> That's the first time I've actually seen the side panels burst completely out of one of them. And where I got the other tray apart with certainly a lot less damage, I may actually have to seek a replacement for this one because I really had to get more than a little rambunctious with this. Two of these batteries had actually fused themselves to the plastic, whether it was the action of the acid within the battery and its cells that did that, or just the heat. I really don't know. This being an extended runtime UPS that this went, that went with, I would imagine that its charging rate is probably a good deal higher. So it might have the ability to inject enough current into these batteries to cause them to get hot enough to actually melt into this plastic tray. But I would imagine there's probably lots of friendly sellers on eBay that manufacture these out of people's turned-in cores and I can probably get one there without having to pay APC's price for them because I don't do that unless the client absolutely wants it and in this case since the client happens to be me <laughs> having inherited this thing recently well I definitely don't feel like spending that much money if you do go against my advice and attempt something like this yourself and let's face it sometimes you have no other choice do by all means take the opportunity to protect your respiratory system, work in an area with decent ventilation, though obviously not a hurricane, so you're not blowing all the little lead particles around, you know, wear a respirator or a mask or something like that to protect yourself. And when you do your cleanup, make sure that you put everything into some sort of a container that's uh, safe, that's rated to hold the stuff that you're putting in it, like the bits of these battery casings and stuff like that and then turn it into some sort of a hazardous waste disposal facility which is definitely where these batteries are going next so thank you as always for watching maybe at some point when I'm feeling good and flush I'll invest the couple hundred dollars worth of, that it would take to put batteries in both this box and the UPS itself and we'll go through the process of getting it ready to roll again but that's probably going to be a long ways off into the future because right now I have no need of this thing I'm just going to stockpile it along with the other extended runtime capable smart UPS models that I happen to have. So again, as always, I look forward to hearing your constructive commentary, and thank you very much for taking the time to watch.